Watch us on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast and support us on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by. We as a people internalize the thoughts, actions, norms and values of the outside world? Ideologies that are incorporated into our society through institutional brainwashing. Social constructs that represent ideas and beliefs outside of our personal beliefs. Who says that the many outweigh the needs of the one? I believe it better to let five guilty men free than to allow one man who is innocent to suffer. Yet beliefs tend to vary on those ideas, don't they? In reality though, these outside forces carry no weight in my world, because they don't pertain to my personal life, relationships, or feelings. I have feelings that pertain to many personal things such as marriage, having children, and continuation of my family name. These values are hard to change because they are a part of me in my thoughts, dreams and personal relationships. I agree that my mind was shaped because of outside influences as well. If I was born in Israel there is a pretty good chance that I would have been raised as a Jew. The same would be said if I was raised in Baghdad too. There is a chance that I would have been raised as a Muslim. Thoughts and ideas are formed outside of ourselves by the influence of the people around us. What we, what we believe and hold dear to ourselves, does not always seem rational to the outside world which is full of facts. Millions have died for beliefs that are based on myth and without evidence of truth. Math does hold evidence of truth, but I have yet to see any evidence of people dying for the sake of arithmetic. We live in a world that worships, not in a world that believes in facts and the rational. These things are not externalized on personal levels, and if we did externalize the rational, we would surely suffer as a society and die. Things that we should believe in are things that transcend the things we know, or the things we can obtain. We should not worship those things that we see, feel and touch because those things are things we can obtain. Morality, values and norms are all things created by man which can be imitated. Deep down in every human is the desire to worship something, even if that means worshipping nothing at all. To denounce the beliefs instilled in us since childhood takes much more disciple than that of the worshipper. Being considerate, clean, neat and intelligent just does not seem to fill the bill. Understanding what, what is good and bad by our manners, actions, behaviors, or situations in life, does not define what we hold sacred. Being appraised by the people in our lives as if we were cattle on the way to market. Praising us for our intelligence and the things we achieved in life. Rather we build a house on sand or on a rock it does not matter. This is nothing more than a rational ideology placed in our minds, so that we perform well. It is not meant for any kind of personal relationship or experience within ourselves. Only a sense of achievement and nothing more. Should another person's preference influence what I feel is important on a personal level? Is that person's preference something desirable to me, or an idea that the other person likes instead? What we truly believe transcends all things that are connected to actions and situations. They go beyond politics, facts, what is good, bad, or rational. I would personally build my house on stone instead of sand, and out of wood instead of straw. That is not always consistent with other people's views concerning what is valuable and what is not. Should the equal distribution of goods be compared to equality, and is it desirable to everyone? Should two people get the same amount because they do the same job? or should they be appraised by their peers according to accomplishment? These things do not transcend into what is sacred, but they raise questions with concern to achievement and self-value. Should these influences affect us personally, affecting our relationships with the people around us? These one self-value not be set to the same standards, as to whether we preference sweetened or unsweetened tea. Caring about a common attitude towards situations within a group does not justify an action. I have beliefs that are personal to me, and when those beliefs call for action I will respond. With conflicts from the outside world, internal beliefs should not be affected by institutional values set upon us. Desired beliefs are set higher than moral values and the person is then not for sale. Set within a display case for everyone to admire or reject according to their preference of what is right or wrong. Values are more general than specific making them more important to our personality instead of our attitudes. 
We may not even show interest in the things that we have values toward, yet, we still have them, and they dictate who we are. What we stand for and what we believe and don't believe in. Do we wish to be rewarded for the things we do in life, or do we do these things because they need to be done? Are we motivated by animal instincts or a higher cause in life, which is above or outside of ourselves? Do we do it because we have the inner desire to do things, or for the personal reward of accomplishing a task? Doing tasks seem to change our outlook on life and rewards us in many ways. They have both positive and negative effects, considering what those tasks are that we choose to do. Values are less selfish than what motives are, but they also affect our emotions. Not on subhuman levels though, values show optimism, with alternatives to the consequences of our actions and outlooks. Values are different from needs also, we do not have to have children to have values. We do not have to practice repetition either. Our values are not dictated by any form of sexuality or biological notion. Neither is it conditioned according to goals met or achieved. Our mental state does not make us more or less of a person, and needs apply to values only when those needs are not met. When a person is forced into going against what that person values, to achieve those needs, a sense of gratitude is produced. This creates change within the person, about what is and isn't desires, and are not goals, they are standards of judgment and select goals, with estimated efforts of actions. As governments fell in line with sovereignty, philosophers and politicians interpret the word person. Humans wear a mask disguising who they are in exchange for character, defined by attributes, ability, and ignorance. Personality collides with humanity, as oaths and contracts replaced our ability to think for ourselves. Leaving us in a world of dismay and silenced, we deny our truths and accept the lies that we are taught. Truths are shoved down into the darkness, never to surface again. If discussed they are scoffed at and ridiculed by those who have created the lie they live by daily. The volition of the first and second order, man's Frankenstein, is also referred to as free will. To be or not to be that is the question, the volition of man's supreme power second order the creatures. We wear that mask not because we are humans, but because we have responsibilities and duties to fulfill. Like Johnny Appleseed, Moby Dick, and Sleepy Hollow, our world is full of cherry trees. Confessing our wrongs and signing our names on the dotted line, so that we will be taken care of because we can no longer take care of ourselves. Agreeing to the terms of the contract and free from subjection. The group can work as one, just don't pay any attention to the man behind the curtain. Processed and put into the record, a part of the community and the establishment. Protected and safe according to your conscience of what is right and wrong, and the state of course. This was brought to you by The Strange, The Bizarre, The Unusual, I Like It, on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms. Inker, Breaker, Overcast, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Spotify. Support us on Patreon. And check us out on Discord. All the links can be found in the description below. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.